Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Two games to go now. Uh, firstly, Nettleham before playing West Bromwich Albion. Uh, are you looking forward to the final two? Yeah, Nettleham will be a challenge away at their pitch. And then obviously West Brom. That will just top the season off if we can beat them. Especially we will beat them. We will beat them. <laughs> we will yeah, beat them. Like you said, if we can beat them, Bill, we're going to beat them. Okay. We fought that last time, mate. Okay. You can put that in. That alright? <laughs> or do you want to retype that? <laughs>
So what do you both make of the game, sir? Uh, I mean, obviously the aim was to be there and beat and run, and that's exactly what we did. It was unreal. Every player dug in. So, so happy we won. Yeah, it was hard at times. Like, I think the start, first 10, 15 minutes, it was, I don't know, obviously the opposite end of the pitch, yeah. but it was tough back there. Um, but we just soaked it up, you know, defended for our lives, really. Because that's what it meant for us today. We just did not want them to, you know, get that unbeaten run because, you know, we probably feel that away from home we probably could have stopped that initially back in uh, January. So, you know, it was a massive game for us, but also, like, building on for next season. Yeah. We've, we've played well the last few games. We just didn't want that to to come to a standstill just because we're playing against um, the league champions. So, yeah, we uh, we just wanted to build on our performances ready for, for July, August time. So you talked about that unbeaten run, ending it just. Um, how good does that feel to stop that unbeaten run? Especially the being in rivals as well. Well, if, any team at rivals, any opposition when they've beat everyone in the league, you know, and you're the team that they haven't managed to, to do the perfect run against, it's, it's unbelievable. And, yeah, it is West Brom as well. So that tops it, really, for, for me as a Wolves fan. And yeah, for Jay. Todd, same as me, mm. yeah, exactly what folks have said. But, you know, it's it's all about us, really, and making sure that we got the win, we got the win two weeks ago, and just building ready for, for what we're going to be doing next season. Yeah, um, Jade, happy to get two goals? Yeah, of course. I'm happy to get a goal whenever, but when it's against the Albion, it's, it's even better. And, yeah, I mean, obviously everyone, it, it wasn't just me, it was the whole team, like, obviously setting them up for me nicely and, yeah. It's, it's a battle out there, yeah, wasn't it? Oh, it was an absolute battle, battle. Yeah. and it was who wanted it more. Yeah. And I think we wanted that We wanted more. it, we weren't going to let them do it twice to us after what happened a couple of months ago. There's no way that that was going to happen today. It was a roller coaster, mate. Um, I, I thought it was absolutely outstanding from the girls. Um, from the first whistle, uh, I thought they were they were just unbelievable. Um, yes, the Albion. We knew what they were going to come with. Okay, the, the the long ball sort of into areas and and look for knockdowns and stuff. And I thought we dealt with it excellently. Um, the first 20 minutes, they came out like league champions and fair play to them. Um, but I thought the girls soaked it up well and we knew as the game went on we, we'd grow into it and we'd start opening them up uh, and I, I think we, we massively did that. Um, obviously they suck a punch just before half time with, with a great finish from Nat Murray but you know, at half time we, we spoke and, and we said look, the next 15 minutes is going to be very similar to the first 15 minutes and if we ride that wave I fancy us to win 2 or 3-1. Thankfully, you know, from a, a game-changing performance from Lowry Walker, I, I thought we were well-deserved winners and, you know, I, I'm so delighted. How important would you say that second goal was? Because obviously, at the time, like you said, you were under the cosh. Yeah, we, we, were, we were under the cosh. And as I say, league champions are league champions for a reason. You know, they, they, they've been six points better off than us this year. I'm fair play to them. Um, but today, I don't think... I think you could clearly see we, we were the better side. Um, you know, we, 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 we did absorb that pressure and they, were, they, they did build for the first 20. Um, but as I said, once we rode that storm, I thought we, we started to cause some real problems. I thought Jay Cross up top was absolutely outstanding. Um, but again, I've got, to, I've got to mention Larry Walker. You know, she's... Been playing a bit underconfident lately, but um, to come on and change the game the way she did, I, I thought she was absolutely tremendous. Um, so yeah, just really pleased for all the fans uh, that that came today. So thanks to them. Pleased for Jenny Wilkes and all the support that they they've given us all season. You know that that was for that was for everyone in the stand today. Um, my first derby that I've ever been involved. Uh, sorry, second derby, my first win that I've ever been involved in. And you know, I think I'm slowly starting to become a closet Wolves fan because it feels uh, it feels great to beat the Albion. Especially ending that unbeaten one as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was that was a, obviously a big motivator for us. Um, you know, all, to be honest, I got a little bit bored of hearing about a perfect season. But you know what? Driving here today, I, there was absolutely no doubt in my mind that they beat us, um, and I knew the girls wouldn't allow it. Uh, I've, uh, just a sheer grit, determination and passion. You know, we, I've put together 18 girls in that dressing room who will all die for each other and for the club. And I've just said to them now, look, we're a young group and, and as long as we all stick together and we all carry on in this journey, I think the, the, the group will definitely go places and they'll, they'll reap the rewards in the future. Um, so what do you do now to prepare for next season? So I think we're going to carry on training. Um, we're going to help the, the development team out because their season certainly hasn't finished. So we're going to carry on training for a couple of weeks, and then I think it's a, a, a well-earned rest for for the girls and for the staff. You know, I, I do place demands on the staff. We, you know, we are, we do have a big staff, but everyone brings something to the party, and I think that's quite important. 
so everyone will, will, will go away and, and, and reflect and, and spend time with the families, ready to come back in, back in on the 30th of June because effectively we've got to go one better next year. You know, it's all well and good with results, uh, results like that today. But, you know, as much as it hurts, it's the league standings that, 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 that count. And, and unfortunately, we fell six points short this year. Um, but, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to go one better after learning the experiences that the girls have had this year.